Hello, my name is Lance and I'll be your dueling instructor. In today's lesson, we're going to be going over victory. There are numerous ways to achieve victory in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think that for most beginners, just focusing on these three specific roles will help the most. Those three specific roles being combo, control, and stun. Now each role has a different way in which they beat their opponent. Combo is about outputting more interactions than your opponent can deal with effectively. This would be like ending on six plus negates. Your opponent has to lose some resources for every interaction. This is not to be confused with stun, which is very similar in approach, but in gameplay is very different. Some examples of combo would be Dragon Link, Elements of Sword Soul, specifically the Tenyu parts, and Virtual World. Each deck may have elements of pure combo, but in its barest form, the player is benefiting off the opponent trying to interact with their board. Hand Rip is the prime example of pure combo. Next, we'll focus on stun. Stun ensures victory by locking your opponent out of the game. This can be done through various means. However, in recent memory, True King of All Calamities is probably the best example of a true stun guard. Skill Drain, Floodgates, and even Mystic Mind can be examples of lockout and by extension true stun. The major difference from combo to stun is that the opponent is locked out of a game mechanic, while the other player is not. Finally, we're going to be going over control. Control is the role that most players have some level of experience with. Control decks have the ability to not lose cards in one for one exchanges. This is different from combo because of the way that control achieves victory. Control aims to play the long game and ensure that they are always one card up on their opponent. Control decks have existed in nearly every meta since the game's inception. However, I think in recent years, Sky Striker is the best example of a pure control deck. Utilizing multi-role, the deck can sustain card advantage even when they would normally lose resources. While the meta in the TCG has always leaned a bit more towards combo, control has always stayed a valuable counterpick to overly centralized combo metas. With these three roles, we can see a sort of triangle form. Nearly every deck has aspects of each role, but some aspects play a more prominent role. When testing in the future, keep the roles in the back of your mind. Try and find your deck's role in a playstyle that complements each role accordingly. That's going to conclude today's lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be focusing on card choice, so prepare yourself for that. Now, there's going to be some homework. Find the role that you enjoy playing the best, and try to see specifically what it is about that role that you enjoy. That's going to wrap it up for today, so get out there and duel.